Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. So we've been investigating the detectability of certain aircraft, the ability of stealth, modeling of stealth in DCS lately, and the use of RCS's radar cross sections for different aircraft to look at their detectability in DCS. And the follow-up question that you guys have had is, okay, well then if I load up my aircraft, say an F-15 or whatever, with missiles and fuel tanks and external stores, will it increase its detectability, i.e. increase its modeled radar cross-section? And so that's what we're going to find out today. We're going to run a very simple couple of tests. We're going to drive two aircraft at our radar, one loaded, one unloaded, and see if the detectability changes. And before we do that, uh, thank you for those guys in the comments that have told me how to find the factual radar cross-section of each aircraft in DCS so I'm just going to quickly show you guys how to do it I'm going to go to your installation folder DCS world script and down here in Lau for, uh, Lua format which just means text database basically is all the information we could ever want and probably more as well so we've got scripts and now we've got ba -ba, database and we've got just like, you know, everything, sensors, targets, units, ships, planes, uh, all helicopters. We're going to go to plane const, so that's presumably plane constants. We could probably change this stuff here and completely mess everything up, but um, I definitely suggest against that. And we've got everything we could want. Uh, so let's say we want to look up our F-15, so F-15C, oh, of course. We've got our F-15 here. And we can tell all kinds of cool stuff about it. Stuff to do with fuel, we've got weights, uh, whether it's got a speed break, number of stores, max bank angle, various other stuff about it. Presumably this is all some basic stuff to help the AI fly these planes. But what we're interested in is this one here. Uh, we've got RCS, radial cross section of an F-15 in DCS is 5. And I think it's out of 10. So the radar cross-section is just a simple integer or floating point out of 10. Out of interest here, we've also got the IR emission coefficient here. So we've got 0.91 if we're on normal mill power. We've got 4.0 if we've got afterburner on. So that might be interesting to you as well. Let's go and look up another one. Let's go and look up an F5. Of course, MiG-29. Big 29, we've got that. K, G. Uh, RCS is 5, the same. And IR coefficient is very similar. Let's look up something big, B52. K, B52. Lots of variables here. Radar cross, oh wow, it's out of 100, not um, 10. So radar cross section is 100 for the B52. Uh, 5 for the F15, 5 for the MiG. We've got a coefficient, it's got no afterburner, so it's got four. So that is very hot engines. That's interesting, isn't it? Let's have a look if we've got a B1. B1, that's going to be hot engines. Uh, wow, look at the thrust of it with afterburner. 130,000 kilos. Assume it's in kilos. Uh, anyway, sorry, getting off the topic. Ah, interesting. Oh, yeah, the radar cross-section of the B1, although it's a massive plane, is five, the same as the F-15, and that is because it is modelled as you know, slightly selfie. Uh, IR coefficient is massive. Look at that. Look how hot it is. That's so cool. Um, just had a bit of interest because we're cooking on gas now. Let's try an F-16. It's going to be relevant soon, isn't it? F-16A, that's close enough. Uh, RCS is 4, so it's slightly smaller. And it's a lot... Uh, it's got a high bypass, isn't it? So it's a lot cooler. So that's shown. Uh, let's try something funny like a MiG-21. Fine, we'll do the F-117. F117, the stealthy plane. Radar cross section 0.01. So it's basically completely. That's why the F14 can't see it at all on its radar. It's 0.01 out of, out of interest. Oh, look how cool it is as well. So it produces almost no um, engine heat. How cool is that? Um, and some planes aren't in here. So I found to find those planes that aren't in here, you go out, you go DCS World, you go. I think it was core mods. Aircraft, uh, F-14, entry, F-14, CS. So the F-14, oh, so look, the F-14 does have a bigger radar cross section than um, the F-15 and everything else we've looked at fighter-wise. 
uh, it has a much cooler engines much cooler engines than the f15 and mig 29 presumably because high bypass again um of course they're pretty powerful aren't they first um okay i'm guessing that must be in pounds then okay so that shows you where we can actually find this uh these coefficient details so that's that next we're going to jump into dcs and uh do today's experiment Okay, so for the first test, we've got our F-15C here that we're going to be driving. It's going directly between these two guys who are equidistant and equispeed and basically equal in every way. There is a flanker here that is clean and there is a flanker here that is fully equipped with missiles. And as simple as that. So we'll give that a go and see if uh, in this permutation we get any difference in radar cross section. So let's go for that. We go. Radar on. Stick on the waypoint and see what happens, I guess. As for predictions, I've seen nothing in the databases that obviously tell me that weapons or stores are going to make any difference to the radar cross-section. So, probably won't make any difference, but we'll see. You never know. Ping! Okay, you can see they both appeared at exactly the same time on the radar there. And just to double check, ping 48.21, 48.22. Right, so in this circumstance, FC3 versus FC3, we've got no difference in stores to the radar cross section. So let's do a second permutation just to. Okay, we are now in the Mirage 2000s. The equidistant guys are now a Hornet. So everything is high fidelity this time. An empty Hornet. And ba -ba -ba, the heaviest Hornet known to man with fuel tanks and uh, towels. No, what are these? Sorry, the um, uh, j cells and whatnot. So let's give that a go. Okay, on the radar on. <clears throat> uh, zoom out. Can't remember how to do this. Okay, let's keep on course. Ping, both appeared at exactly the same time. Yeah, they're equidistant within a couple of, within a few hundred feet they're equidistant. That's it really. Nice simple one debunked there. If there is an aircraft with stores on, then it doesn't make any difference to the detectability of that aircraft in terms of radar cross section, whether it's fully loaded like this guy here or completely unloaded like this guy here. And I've also done the same test with um, some radar uh, ground radars as well in terms of SAMs, and that doesn't seem to make any difference either. I hope that helps, and see you later.